WTF Edge. Hey, Dom. Hey, so Melissa, as discussed earlier, it's a big week for the MAG 7 with NVIDIA's big AI conference and reports of a possible Apple-Google AI partnership. But with the hype showing some fragility, could one misstep take down that whole MAG 7 group? Let's ask Dave Mazza, the chief strategy officer over at Roundhill Investments. This firm just launched two more ways to actually play that MAG 7 space, depending on your view, with leveraged and inverse products around that Magnificent 7. Uh, Dave, Roundhill's original MAG 7 ETF, that ticker MAGS, M-A-G-S, is less than a year old with more than $150 million in assets under management. Now you're offering funds to either amplify the long exposure or short the group overall. So tell us a little bit more about why these products, what's the genesis, and what do you expect to accomplish for investors? Yeah, no, thank you, Dom. Not a day goes by where the Magnificent Seven stocks aren't in the news. And investors have a view on them, whether that's positive or negative. And you're absolutely right. Since we've launched less than a year ago, our MAGS ETF, ticker MAGS, is up over 58%. But we wanted to offer investors and traders an opportunity to take that a step further. So for those looking for amplified upside, so two times the daily exposure of the Magnificent Seven stocks, there's actually uh, MAGX for them. So that's M-A-G-X. And then those looking for inverse exposure or actually to take a negative view on the space, there's MAGQ. So again, these are tools for investors with MAGs and then for traders to express both a positive and negative view on a space that is not uh, being out of the news anytime soon. Now, Dave, uh, this is important for a lot of folks out there who are kind of new to these leveraged and inverse types ETFs. They need to know that these ETFs, the new ones, are daily return ETFs. They are not really some kind of a buy and hold strategy, right? No, you're absolutely right. And thank you for emphasizing that point. So for someone looking to take a longer term view on the Magnificent Seven stocks, stick with MAGS. But for those who have the ability to monitor their positions on a, on a daily basis and express views with greater conviction, that's what MAGX is for, or even MAGQ to take that negative view. So again, a tool for investors and then two new tools for traders to take that view. And really quickly, Dave, before you go, are you seeing more traffic one way or the other, more towards the short side or long side these days? Interesting enough, actually, even with some of the stumbles uh, that we've seen in, in the Magnificent Seven group over the last couple of weeks, uh, to date, actually, more activity has been on that 2X side. So MAGX, people may be looking to actually step in on the dip, take advantage of some short-term opportunities. And you're absolutely right. With NVIDIA in the news again today, uh, and actually the market's recovering a bit, uh, maybe we can see some reasons behind that sentiment. All right. Dave Mazza, thank you very much for the insights there on those new ETFs and much more on that MAG7 trade and even the weight loss ETF craze coming up on ETFedge.com at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Dave will be joined by Todd Rosenbluth, head of research over at Vetify. Check out the online show 110 Today. Melissa, I'll send things back over to you.